Hello YouTube, PsychoFox here. You're looking at my most recent pickup. It's a Sinclair ZX Spectrum Plus, and it's very clean at the moment uh, because I've just finished taking the thing apart, cleaning it, and putting it back together. I gave it all a good wash in the in the sink and put it outside in the sun to dry. And I thought I'd do all that before I tested it because it was absolutely disgusting condition. So I've um, plugged it in, and nothing happens at all. So what I wound up doing was just letting the power go into it for a bit. I could see the voltages coming onto the board were correct, so I just let the power go into it, only for a minute, then started touching the chips. And the Z80 was so hot, you couldn't even touch it. It was absolutely burning. Um, the ULA was just a slightly warm, which it should be. None of the RAM chips were warm, but that was absolutely on fire. So what I did, uh, I took it out, and you're looking at the replacement, uh, I took this one out, this is an NEC Z80, uh, this date's from 1983, sometime around then, 84. So, I haven't actually got any spare uh, NEC Z80s, but a lot of Z80s are interchangeable, I think some are not. But I thought I'd take a chance, and I've got a spare Amstrad PCW8256 board, dating from 1985. And that's got a Zilog Z80, which used to sit socketed there. And that's the chip you can see in there. So I put that in and got garbled graphics. But at least that was something. All I was getting was a black screen before. And reset a couple of times. And it all sorted itself out. We've got a continuous key press of number four on the screen. So what I wound up doing was just taking these ribbon cables out and cleaning the end of them. That sorted that problem. And now every time I boot it, it it boots up fine. So um, I won't bother showing you that. It's just a standard Spectrum uh, booting screen. So if you do have uh, Spectrum Plus that is just booting to a black screen, give the Z80 a little feel. And if it's running hot, you can replace it with another NEC Z80 or, in this case, a Zilog Z80 from an Amstrad PCW board. It seems to work fine, so I'm not running into any trouble, any trouble since. So yeah, it's a nice little pickup because I got this quite cheap because it was untested and pretty filthy, and it's come up quite nice. So pretty pleased with that. So yeah, I just thought I'd document that some of these Z80s are interchangeable. You probably already know that, but I just thought I'd make a note of it on camera. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Just a quick video. See you soon.